This is very surprising to see, and uh, seasons 1 through 5 of Tall Drama will stream on Future Today's Happy Kids US in November. For those who don't know what Happy Kids US is, it is a streaming site that is pretty obscure. It's more akin to the likes of Kabillion and Kid Doodle, kind of like a mishmash, like on um, which demographic suits on which content. It also has some exclusive content too, like Fairy Bees, which can't really be seen in other streaming services in the US, aside from piracy. This really is surprising to see on how Toll Drama will be on Happy Kids. Well, for starters, it has gross out and bleeped out profanity. It is a parody of reality shows, most notably Survivor. While the ridiculous race was more of a parody of the amazing race. And, well, it could have been worse. The Canadian version was more mature like, as there were bound to be some changes to be censored in the US broadcast. Though Cartoon Network did have some content warnings and disclaimers during the Stuart Snyder. Era. With a PG rating. And that it will be on Roku and Fire TV too. So the possibilities that it might be on the Roku channel can't be likely. It would be quite shocking if they get the new season before Cartoon Network does. Especially the fact that Cartoon Network still doesn't have any updates for Jade Armor. Despite being acquisition. This is quite surprising to see. How it will be on a 2 to the 11 demographic. Though Happy Kids also has the Strange Chores and Transformers Prime. So that kind of explains it given that they are also pretty PG friendly. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think it's quite surprising for them to do this? Because I sure am quite surprised to see that they decide to do Toll Drama on Happy Kids. USA, a pretty obscure streaming service that is mostly animation focused and supposedly focused on internet content too. Anyway guys, this is Kawaii Life Antonio, signing off. Peace.